You have to break up with the victim mindset. You have to understand that when you have a victim mindset, you are creating a world. You are creating results before the processes are even allowed to happen, even allowed to occur. You are thinking that because something happened to me in the past, that same result has to happen again in the present or it has to happen again in the future. You know, that is the victim mindset, feeling like you are constantly losing or like the odds are matched against you before you even start. Feeling like you don't have a fair chance to win. This is victim mindset. We can have compassion towards everyone's journey. We can have compassion towards the fact that everyone most likely will experience some something that they will call pain. That's fine. We we don't need to we don't need to act like people aren't experiencing painful things. Everyone is experiencing painful things. But I mean you have a choice. You have a choice to have a fixed mindset or a growth mindset. The fixed mindset is going to keep you inside of the victim mindset because you you don't think you have power you don't think you can change your situation you don't think you can change your outcomes like you're already going in it you're already going into adversity behind because of you having the victim mindset if you really want to be believe in victory and win in this this opportunity of life you won't do that with a victim mindset you won't do that with a fixed mindset you have to break up with the victim mindset. You have to adapt the growth mindset. Growth mindset means I'm going to adapt to my situation. If the cards dealt against me are not in my favor, I'm still going to try my best to win. A true champion knows how to bounce back during defeat, whether that's mental defeat or physical defeat, defeat in, 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 in war, defeat in mind games, defeat in understanding. Defeating finances, a true champion bounces back. A true champion gets up and they say, no, okay, I got knocked down, I got hit down, but I have to keep going. I, I can't go on thinking that guy that got knocked out 10 minutes ago, I can't go on thinking that's me. That's no longer me, I'm moving forward. I know somebody, that, this person went through a whole lot, went through a whole lot, and this person still operates with victim mindset. And they see the world in a, it's me against the world attitude. You know, in my new book, Care Package, that's one thing I wrote about. I wrote about how you have to break up with the me against the world attitude. When, it's the Care Package. Read this book. Go to Amazon. Go to SylvesterMcNutt.net. Read this book. It's going to help you heal. You can't, you can't take on the me against the world attitude. Like, you told me you want to be rich, yet most people don't get rich by themselves. It takes a team to get rich, quote unquote. It takes takes other ideas to get rich, quote unquote. You told me you wanted to get rich spiritually, but you think you're going to do it by yourself. And you might. You might be able to. Who's to say who's to say that you can't do that by yourself? But I know for a fact that as they say iron sharpens iron. I know for a fact that if you're willing to share your journey with people, other people will sharpen you along the way. Sharpen each other. You can't live in this world by yourself. We need friends. We need family. We need connections. We need each other. You know, even if even if I meet you and we don't become best friends, we still have to share earth and we have to share environments and we have to share resources. You can't have the me against the world mindset. Like if we took it back way, way back in the day before there was money and everything was done on an exchange system, you know, you would be good at making bread. Your neighbor down there would be good at churning butter. The neighbor down there, he's got all the chickens and the eggs. The neighbor down there knows how to build fences and houses. The neighbor over there knows how to make sweaters and shirts. And so it was, you know, societies were built on, hey, look, you got that. Cool. I got this. I'm going to give you this. You give me some of that. Boom, boom, boom. We share That DNA is still inside of us. Just because we can get individual salaries and pay.
pay for individual apartments and the individual car and do our individual trips to the grocery store, that doesn't mean we don't need other people. We need other people. That's a born that's a born life. That's a born life. Wake up, work all day, only do chores, only go to the grocery store, only do school, only clean up. Go home, avoid everybody, don't text anyone, don't call anyone, don't hang out. Just me against the world. No, no person wants to live like that. I'm convinced. No person wants to live like that. So look, if you want to break up with the me against the world mindset, if you want to break up with being a victim, do these two things. First, you have to change your mindset. You have to absolutely accept that it's not a fixed mindset that's going to help you win, but yet it's a growth mindset that's going to help you win. The growth mindset, attacking the possibility of change, saying, hey, I can overcome this. I can get through this. You know, yeah, I took an L, but let me bounce back. The second thing you have to do to, to get over being a victim is you have to come to peace and acceptance with what has happened in your past. You cannot change the past. The only thing you can change about the past is the way you look at it. So if you're struggling today with moving forward today, with trusting people today, with letting people in today, odds are you're going to have to break up with some type of pain or experience from your past. And it, it may not be just a light switch. It may take a little while. It may take some effort. It may take years. And that's okay because, you know, healing, healing is not on a timeline. But to break up with the victim mindset, you're going to have to come to acceptance of whatever pain you experienced in the past. I, I want to know if you guys have any strategies or tactics that have helped you. Just comment below. You know, you never know. Someone else may see it and they, they may think, okay, that's a good idea. I'll work on that. If you have personal stories about the victim mindset, me against the world mindset, dealing with pain, comment below. Let us know any, any story, anything helpful. Let's build that community where we're all sharing ideas. This video is just to get the ball rolling, just to create ideas for all of us to talk about.